It is our main event, Game Bread Fighting Championship 2. Let's get this thing going, Matt Perino. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final bout of the evening. We'd like to give a special thanks to our premier sponsor, Legacy Records, the first ever record label to pay their artists, vendors, and contractors in cryptocurrency. And now, the stage is set. The fighters are ready, and the fans are tuned in. Live from the Biloxi Civic Center in Biloxi, Mississippi. Get ready for violence, as this is our main event of the evening. Introducing first, the fighter in the blue corner, a thug jitsu fighter, holding professional record, 79 wins, 64 losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 241 pounds, fighting at a Nashville, Tennessee, Jonathan, the leg lock monster, Ivy. And now his opponent fighting out of the red corner, an assassin holding a professional record, 14 wins, nine losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing 229.6 pounds. Fighting out of a popcorn loader, presenting Alex Spartan Nicholson. It has been a crazy night of fights. And we are at our main event, Nicholson, Ivy. I'm trying to think of the heaviest fight I've seen start a fight with an Imanari role. Don't, don't discount I've that I've never possibly. seen a heavyweight fight start there, so <laughs> well, definitely this would be the record for me. It could be. You ever see a guy empty his, uh, the contents of his stomach from a groin kick? Not that, that quick. quick. See, this is that kind of night. And keep fighting? Yeah. So Ivy, yes, he'll throw big punches. Oh! oh. They're caught coming yes. in. Yes. Good recovery. Yep. So there's your roll. So Smart. Come on down. You know, and even though Nichols didn't bite and jump in, look how much more time that afforded yes. Ivy to recover from that strike. Great uh, veteran move. Ivy All he had to do was go to his back and threaten the, uh, the possibility of a footlock. So as, as Nichols does move forward, that's the chance for Ivy uh, now. That's the chance for him to move towards him. As Nichols' body is moving towards Ivy, all you do is move forward now. And he's chopping with those roundhouses coming down. Nichols keeping straight punches down the pipe to make sure that this punch also creates distance. Ivy's left hook and overhand right. And not surprising if you study fighting, this body type yep. really le lends itself to those two punches. It's a page right out of Roy Nelson game book, you know, the overhand right. When you're the shorter guy, the taller guy, he's looking down. So his hand shooting at an angle downward, and you come over the top with an overhand shot, and it's very powerful. You mentioned Random and Prokop. If you looked at the very beginning of the fight, he looked down and threw the hook. Uh, and see, when Ivy's turning, turn around, oh, Ivy got turned around by the big shots. So he's bloodied up. Nichols just has to keep being precise. I like how he's taking a step back. You can see he's not going to overexert himself trying to finish him. Ivy's out of three years not fighting, the longest ever for this 100-plus fight veteran. Big knees to come now. Watch for the knee up the middle. Uppercuts. Yeah, right now he's just a sitting duck. He's just keeping his hands framed to avoid any of those shots. But Nichols is just finding the holes in the gaps. Oh, coming between the gloves, underneath the elbows, over the top. He's hurting him. Some of these, the sound in this venue, they're like wet crunches. Well, and that's enough. That's actually a really good spot. You know what? I'm not gonna argue. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, look, look, that is what bare knuckle fighting, bare knuckle mixed martial arts, game bred fighting championship. The cuts, it rips and tears, the bones shred the skin. He ate a lot of abuse and he was still standing on his feet. Yeah, he took some big knees, some big elbows. Obviously his face is a testament to what he took. And uh, you know, he wasn't stopping down. I mean, he kept trying to you know, fight back, but uh, I think a great decision by the referee to be, you know, he's seen enough. 
at this moment, we're just going to see someone get damaged beyond what is necessary. A 45-year-old man who's been in 100-plus sanctioned fights throughout his life, fighting the younger, taller, stronger man who's carving him up with elbows, knees, and punches. Yeah, Dan, I'd say the ref did the right thing. And, and you mentioned some of the some of the demons Nicholson's dealt with in the past. It looks like they're behind him because I've seen him fight many, many times, and I, I don't think I've ever seen him in this shape. Yeah, or calm and analytical. You got a guy really messed up, and you're still picking the shots, the uppercuts, the hooks through the, the V of the elbow. Uh, he, he looked he looked damn good tonight. He's a scary dude when he's in shape and focus like that. And Alex Nicholson, you know, it's easy to get clean. Staying clean is, is part of the part of the challenge, finding the serenity. You don't want to go out and celebrate now and blow the whole Let's fucking go! This is Please. a path. This is a path, and he's on it. And he should be damn proud of this fight. And so should Jonathan, Jonathan Ivey. That's, that's a man to look up to. A lifelong combat sports veteran. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big hand for these two warriors. The bout comes to an end at three minutes, four seconds at the end of the first round. 